Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly. We're doing a little makeup routine kind of get ready with me thing. I like to do these every like month or so. I think I've been kind of off about doing them that often and really loving doing my makeup lately. I hate like having a lot on my face during the day, especially the summertime when it's so hot outside and I drip sweat the second I walk outside. But I'm excited to do my makeup anyway. I'm not really going anywhere today. I have a bunch of work to catch up on in my apartment. I'm not going anywhere because I don't want to spend money on coffee or anything. And I just want to like sit and like grind and make sure I can get back into the groove of doing work from my apartment. So. I want to do a little get ready with me for today. I just blow dried my hair and I use like volumizing mousse to give it a little bit of volume and it definitely helps. It still looks really flat to my head, but this is honestly having volume for my hair because it's so fine and this is just how it is. We're going to start by doing my skincare because I haven't done this yet. Literally all I did was blow dry my hair up. I'm wearing this cute set from Amazon I got recently. It's like a tank and then it has like sweat shorts. You can't see the shorts so I'm not fixing my camera again. I'm going to start with a little skincare. I've been loving the Paris Laundry toner because she's been in the process of launching all of her products and I did go pick one up. Of course, this is the toner. So it has vitamin C in it and it smells just like her everywhere oil. You guys can order on it online. I literally love her products. They're like truly clean. Go check out like the website and stuff and you'll like hear her story and all that. I've been getting myself adjusted to that toner. I do have a vitamin C squalling drops from Biosance and I usually mix these in with my niacinamide dew drops, but my toner has vitamin C in it. So I'm not using this today, but I usually do every other day the vitamin C toner or the Polish Choice like Advanced Repulsion toner. I'll just switch it off. So today happens to be the Paris Laundry toner. So I will not be using my vitamin C drops. I'll just be using the nice my glow dew drops. I'm going to use these till they're gone. And then I don't think I'm going to buy them again. Like they're not bad, but like I probably can do without them. You know, those are on. I usually give it a minute to like soak into my face before I put on moisturizer SPF. So we're going to give it a sec. I'm going to just pin my hair back because it's going to be in my way. And I'm going to grab like my products too. I wish I had like my smaller clips. I don't know where they are. I need to look for those. I kind of hate using these to do my makeup simply because because it creases my hair. We're gonna start with the La Roche Posay Tolerian Double Repair Face Moisturizer with SPF 30. My face needs sunscreen every day as well as moisturizer, so. My skin is actually looking really good lately. Like, I'll have like some bright breakouts, but it's more like blackheads and stuff. I don't know if it's because I found a skincare routine. I don't know, like what it is, but my skin's doing pretty good. I'll have like one or two at a time. So like right now I have this one right here. Moisturizer is all done. We're gonna start with my makeup now with like face. We're gonna go really light on the face, but we're still gonna like have fun with it. I'm gonna start with the Rare Beauty Contour Stick in the shade power boost i've been getting into like the cream contour stuff but i'm not a pro at it and i honestly think it just kind of disappears once i put it on and blend it we're just gonna wet a beauty blender quick i wanted to do like a little bit of a life update i've been like on and off vlogging lately simply because like i'll vlog something and then i don't love it so i delete it because i feel like i'm not doing anything like the last few weeks i have literally just been working and then coming home i've like eat sleep work repeat like constant cycle so like i feel like it's been hard to like vlog when i'm not really doing a lot i don't know i've had a lot of plans though with friends like doing like little things it's been hard to like get in like the cycle of actually vlogging and like keeping up with it because like my work schedule is always different so it's not like i have like a set routine right now my work schedule is different every week we're going in with the rms shade 11.5 in the uncover up and we're just color correcting with this under my eyes so it's been hard to vlog because i'm like i'm literally like, going to work i'm not vlogging at work because i'm working and then i'm coming home eating dinner going to bed wake up the next morning do a little workout like i don't know it's like a very like constant routine that I have right now, which I personally love. Like I need a routine and I need to have stuff planned. So that way I don't like just sit on my phone all day because I do get in those habits too. Like yesterday I sat on my phone on TikTok for a couple hours because I had such a productive morning that I was like tired by lunch. And then I had like something else planned later in the day. So I ended up like getting ready. This is the shade double zero now in the uncover up. I love using my finger for these. So this just like actually is my color. And we're gonna add a little bit of like tinted moisturizer too, but this is just like my under eyes right now. I may be a beauty major so like my major is business of beauty and fragrance if you don't know me that's what i tend to vlog i'm a student at scad and i love it i truly love it and i love makeup and all that but i honestly like am not a pro at like the order of makeup i try i'm gonna do a little concealer on some of my blemishes which i actually thank the lord i don't have a lot right now but I'm also gonna do a little bit of tinted moisturizer. It's the NARS one. I've had this for so long. It's a shade Finland light one. I have no tan right now. Actually, I am tan, but it doesn't look like it because I'm still very, very pale. Like I blend into the walls a little bit. Don't get me wrong, it's fine. I'm protecting my skin from the sun. So I gotta like self tan soon. But this shade, I'm just gonna dab it on a little bit all over the, my face, a couple 
dots and then we'll blend in that concealer because I always like to put a little extra concealer on my blemishes to hide them but I was saying like I'm not a pro at makeup like I wish I was I used to be wicked good at like taking my time to just like spend time on my makeup I don't think my makeup ever looks bad I definitely have a lot more skill than like an average person I guess you could say like I do makeup for friends photo shoots and stuff but it's hard because like I don't know I always judge if I'm doing good or not but I don't know I just haven't taken the time to really like do my makeup recently just because I'm working and when I go to work I walk in Savannah Georgia the humidity is ridiculous like it's considered like subtropic area whatever so it's extremely extremely humid and there's nothing I can do about it so the second you want to go outside you start sweating and for me my face is what sweats my upper lip and like my t-zone like that is what sweats for me I don't know I, my body doesn't really sweat too much it's like my face and my neck like I don't know why just how it is. So I'm just like not doing a lot of makeup right now, but I love doing makeup. It's so fun, but I quite literally cannot wear it because I sweat too much on my face. And then I don't want like my pores clogged with makeup, you know? Okay, my base actually looks wicked good today. It's unfortunate I have nowhere to go and I'm just doing this for fun. But honestly, it just puts me in a better mood and I'm gonna be motivated to get all my work done, which I guess I can go into because I'm not taking any summer classes. Let me get my next products. I kind of switch up my products every day a little bit. I'm gonna try this one today, the MAC, the Maybelline New York Super Stay Full Coverage like powder foundation. And we're gonna use this like to set today i have like a bunch of versions of these things i have the l'oreal infallible one too the powder foundation which i actually like this when i get it in a darker shade for when i self tan because it matches my face beautifully i don't have to use like a pat like a like a heavy foundation i just go in with this cover my face with it i know it always works so well for me but i'm going in with the maybelline one this is shade 110 porcelain but we're gonna go right on my under my eyes i also never really use beauty blenders but i am today see that actually looks like blurred my face kind of amazingly i usually do the rms like concealers like just like for something most days, especially when I go to work, when I want to like do my makeup, I'll put that under my eyes. But I personally don't think I really have bad under eyes bags. Maybe on camera it does look bad, but I don't know. Like I get enough sleep every night and I just like genetically have pretty good under eyes. So I just have really textured skin. Like I wish I had like perfectly smooth, clear, silky skin. Like I have so much texture to my skin and I don't even know if you can see because I'm pretty sure my camera kind of blurs it naturally, which I don't want. But like, I don't know. I just have a lot of texture and like bumps and stuff. Okay. Okay, let's go in with the eyes actually now. I have not used like an eyeshadow palette in weeks, like literally weeks. Like I think since my spring quarter got out. But like I was saying, I was starting to say earlier, I'm not taking any summer classes right now, but I have like some school things to work on. I'm using this brush, I don't know what it's called, Farah brush, 35E. And then this palette, uh, Meet Matrimony from the Balm Cosmetics. I got this from Ipsy years ago, but I'm obsessed with it. I think it's the best neutral palette. Like I would probably reward this. We're gonna go in with these two shades right here, uh, Matt Lopez and Matt Evans. It's like a funny palette, but I'm just gonna mix those. I usually like dab and then blend in circles. Yeah, I'm not taking summer classes, but I have like a couple little things to do for school. I'm doing like a scholarship thing. It's keeping me busy because otherwise like I'm not taking classes. I don't, all I'm doing is working and I'm kind of like bored out of my mind in ways. Even though I have like stuff to do, I prioritize my time so well that I just have like so much extra time. And I'm also just like procrastinating this stuff a little bit. Like I have to finish it today. I'm doing the LVMH certificate, which if you ever wanna work for LVMH or any of their companies, which is like Louis Vuitton basically, um, they have a bunch of other brands that they that they're the parent company of and if you ever want to work for any of those Then you have to I think you have to have that certificate something like that So i'm, I'm doing that right now. I have to finish that today I'm gonna take the final test. Hopefully I pass. I really hope I do It's not that hard, but like it's just like a lot of time commitment So I have one more module. I'm pretty sure there's only four. We're gonna go in with like something else fun Let's do a little bit of the matte read shade down below. We're gonna go in the corner just because but yeah, I'm doing that right now. I think it's doing July 12th, but Paris time, which I couldn't tell you what time that is here. I could look that up, but I'm gonna just finish it like today so I don't have to worry about it. And I hope I pass, because if not, you'll have to redo it again next time they open. I have to do research for my project or my scholarship thing I'm doing because I have meetings with like one of my professors all the, like every few weeks to work on it with her and get like feedback and stuff. So I have a meeting on Tuesday, so I need to have my whole research and concept, which isn't bad. I'm just like putting it off because I don't know. I just don't feel like getting it done right now, which is unlike me I don't know. I've been so unmotivated lately. Hopefully we start feeling a little bit normal again And I go through like spurts of motivation the last couple days. I've been motivated. Let's do mascara Actually, i'm gonna use this like fun little highlight stick basically thrive cosmetics It's the bri brilliant eye brightener in the shade estrella in star spanish I'm pretty sure from the years i've taken spanish I kind of like wish I like kept up with a language or I wish I took a different language other than spanish because I would love to work like abroad one day you know like but i only had the option of spanish in middle school and i wasn't gonna switch to like french
French at high school. It took Spanish classes from fourth to eighth grade. Now you take a verse to eighth grade at that school, but at the time when they started it, I was I was there when they started doing it. So I started learning Spanish in fourth grade, which was fine. And I'm glad I learned a little bit of a language, but I was so burnt out of it. Learning a language is hard. I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics mascara, the absolute best. I've been using this for at least three years, if not longer. My mom found it on a Facebook ad one day and she bought it and she's like, this is the best mascara ever. And she is correct. I would agree with that. This was like before everyone started using it. I've been promoting this mascara for years. I also like, I'm so, so glad I have naturally long eyelashes. I don't know, I literally love my lashes. Obviously they could be longer, but like, I so fun. So I never wear fake eyelashes anymore, but like I would always wear fake lashes for cheer, which I kind of had to, but speaking of cheer, I really miss cheer a lot. I will never ever not miss it. Like, I don't know. It's just my favorite thing in the whole world. And like, I could see myself being a judge for comps at like some point, like that would be fun. Like a weekend thing to do when I am out of college. I could see myself coaching, but it would just depend on the gym. I feel like I would never coach like school cheer or anything. All star all the way. I also just like ha have such a like big love for all start cheer it's just so fun okay we're gonna clean up this mascara and of course like every time i get it under my eyes and obviously i have concealer and stuff on so we'll fix that after it's not a big deal let me take this off because i've been talking for so long I need to like speed this up okay the best thing about this mascara is when it dries it just like flakes right off so you don't really mess up anything you have under it which is what i love but obviously i'm gonna go in and just like blend it slightly more my eyes are done actually let's do brows first i've been using the nick nyx nyx whatever brow gel brow glue and i think i actually do like it it's like actually sticking my brows and it's what like not even ten dollars i think it's pretty good this is like the powder i use 10 pretty much on an everyday basis the neutrogena skin clearing mineral powder it's in the shade 10 classic ivory but it's still slightly dark so when i'm slightly tan it works but i just go over and like go over everything because it kind of just like evens out the tone a little bit and just makes it slightly more tan okay let's do some bronzer like powder bronzer and stuff because i don't know i do the contour and i think it actually worked today a little bit better than it has before if i don't do like the full contour i'll use the tart creamy bronzer but we're gonna use the anastasia i just ordered a new one because this is i think this is from 2015 2016 ish time which that's years years old and i it's 100 terrible for my face right now but i do have a couple products coming in the mail from sephora because my birthday is in two weeks i treat myself all the time but i want to treat myself with a little more products so i ended up getting the rare beauty eye brightener too rare beauty is a brand i would love to work for in the future and they have come to visit scad presentations so i don't know i do really like the company in general obviously selena gomez but i love their products i love their story i love everything about it like after that presentation we're using the rare beauty blush because these things are truly amazing i don't really know how they do it but it is absolutely amazing and i usually use the same shade and courage this is all i have actually but they did give out samples of this at the presentation i went to i'm gonna use a beauty blender which i never do so for blush i mean they gave out samples of it but i ended up getting the primer in my bag instead of i actually do like the primer as well which i never use primer if you could tell we got like a free tote bag which was so fun and like pins and stuff this makeup truly only takes me about 10 minutes but i am talking like crazy amount so it's probably going to be closer to 20 minute video i'm gonna add a little more because it's not enough blush i feel like the beauty blender like sucks it up but sometimes i use like this brush but I gotta work quick with that. There we go. We got a little more color in my face. I feel like this washes me out a lot, but like it's fine. I never do highlight or highlighter anymore, especially when it's so hot out. So we're not doing highlighter today. I need to like go through and clean my makeup out again because I have products that I need to toss for sure. I do have the Rare Beauty highlighter, which I do enjoy a lot. Um, let's do a little Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. I'm obsessed with these right now. So so good. The colors are amazing. I also am obsessed with the Summer Fridays balms. I just ordered the strawberry one, Pink Sugar. It's like whatever the pink one is. I just got that from sephora that the eyeliner a powder bronzer and there's one more thing but i don't remember what i grabbed it was another thing like i actually like needed i don't think i grabbed one of these i think i put it back anyways i've been loving those so that was my finished makeup look i literally love doing my makeup it's so therapeutic and so fun and i feel like this was a good little catch up i don't know like my life hasn't been crazy lately and i'm really trying to not like eat out or spend money on things so i'm just kind of like chilling at home most days or i'll go out with like a friend like walk around or they'll come over or we'll just hang out here or like a coffee or something like small but I actually love my hair too because I have volume in it but I get it done in like two weeks and I have extreme blonde dysmorphia like I don't think I'm that blonde but I clearly can see on this camera that I'm very blonde but I just don't feel blonde because of my roots right now so I'm gonna get done in like on the 20th right before my birthday I'm so excited I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it again this usually doesn't take me as long as it did but I love to little chats I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you all in my next video bye guys Oh, let me know what you want to see because I want like suggestions and videos.